Welcome to I See the Light. I am Queen G. I am the light. And I'm here with another one on a Friday morning around 5 o'clock in the morning. We about to get it in. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations. And I let nobody dim your light. What a beautiful day I had yesterday. That's what I want to start off with. I had such a beautiful day. Let me tell you. All right. We're not talking about the seven sins. I got to find it. I don't know what I did with my notes. <laughs> I need to be more organized. I really do. But um, yesterday was um, the beginning of a new chapter for me. So um, I kept it on the down low, you know. And um, I was led to go look for somebody right like i mentioned when i said i was um last friday i was told to go in what direction right so um this morning i mean or yesterday morning the same thing but i already had a had already knew that i was going to be going somewhere yesterday so i was pretty excited about that so um when i woke up and i headed out um something told me listen to this okay remember i said i had to take some clothes back right um, I had to take them back again. <laughs> and so I didn't want to burden this lady again. I had been in there like four times last week and I didn't want to burden her anymore. And, um, so something said, just go to another location and take the stuff back. You're not going to look around. You're just going to get your money and you're going to bounce. You're going to get out of there because you don't, you don't need anything. Okay. So, um, I'm headed toward this in another direction to another store, right? I look up. And I see in the clouds a big giant angel, right? In my life. Okay, to me, I'm reading, I read the clouds. It's laying sideways. See the wings. It's kind of laying there like, yeah, here I am. Yeah, you're you're going in the right direction. Okay. I'm like, okay, I see you. I see you, angel. I said, I see you up there, you big angel. I see you. And um, I'm like, well, I'm only taking something back to, you know, the, the clothing store. I'm thinking later on today, yeah, I'm headed in the right direction because I got something going on, right? That's very important to me. So I, when I get in the the, um, the store, I'm, I immediately look and I see two elderly um, women, black women, um, very sharp women, like dressed really sharp. And I and I had to compliment them both on their attire. I was like, look at these two pretty classy ladies here. I said, you ladies look lovely. And um. They were like, thank you. And I said, well, I'm returning something. They pulled it out and the lady looked at me and I said, yeah, I bought that go together, but um, it didn't work out. And I looked like a clown when I, um, she was like, you bought this to go together. I said, yeah, I bought it to go together. And she said, why did you do that? And I said, because I'm out there like that. I'm free spirited. You know, I'm a little out there, you know, I like to be a little flashy, you know, just like, a, I like a little bit of mm in my, mm, you know. And so she said, whoever, she said, um, don't you go back to that store. Whoever let you walk out of the store saying this looked okay, um, they was wrong for that because I would never let a lady walk out the store thinking that she's going to look good in something that doesn't match. And I was like, well, I know now I look like a clown, um, so I'm returning. <laughs> so um, we got to talking, and um, I was like, yeah. Um, I'm really like into God and I told him a little something about me, whatever. And, um, how I'm into, you know, trying to get into the ministry or what have you. And she said, and the lady told me, she said, don't do it for a man. Okay. Cause you'll be doing it for all the wrong reasons. And I was like, trust me. I know. I think I just found that out. Um, doing anything for a man is not pleasing to God. Doing it for God and God bring you the man. Now that's a totally different story. We're not in it for that, but we're in it for our riches because God said, if you come to me and you, you work for me, I'm going to pay you just like any other body gets paid, okay? And it's not going to be no minimum wage shit, okay? Oop, and forgive me. I'm really working on the potty mouth. I'm doing better. Um, I'm doing way better. So... As I was leaving out, 
uh, the other lady was walking me, walking on the side of me, like walking me out. You know, sometimes they do that at that store. I really wasn't, I don't really care. And um, so when when I looked, she was right there on me. And she looked at me, she said, well, what church do you go to? And I said, um, I go, you know, what church I go to. And she said, oh, really? Where's that located? And I told her, she said, uh, my church is on that street. She said you should come and visit my church. And I said, oh, where's your church? What's your church? Where's your church located? Where's your church name? And she told me. And she said, yeah, we're, um, we're prophets in there. There's prophets in there. And I said, what? And um, we, we, we was kind of walking as we were talking. She was messing with the clothes and we were moving on down. She kept messing with the clothes. And I was like on the, um, on the, um, on the walkway. And I was looking and I was like, prophets? And then she was like, yeah, we got this really cold prophet coming, um, sister prophet coming October, I think she said 15th or something like that. And she says, people get scared and run out of there when she reads people. She says she reads people really well. And I looked at her and I said, hmm. I said, can I tell you something? She said, yeah. We walked up, I said, between me and you. Because the lady asked me, she said, what do you want to do ministry? And I said, something like that. But um, I know that I'm, I'm a prophet. I do believe I'm a prophet, right? So I claim it, okay? I said, I believe that's the 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 um the, the way that God is leading me, right? And I said, you know how God leads you in certain directions to to meet a certain person at a certain time and put a person in your path right when you need it. And she said, yeah. And I said, don't you believe? And she said, yeah. And I said. I'm going to come to your church. I said, they can read me. Read me. Tell me what needs to fall off of me. Or tell me, you know, if it's something that needs to be fixed on me, repaired or whatever, tell me. Read me. Read me. Holy Spirit. Okay? Read me. Tell me. Send me a message. So, that was the big angel in the sky telling me I was going in the right direction. God led me there so that I can meet this lady so I can know about this church that I never knew about where there's people like me. So when I said, oh, God, start bringing me my tribe. Oh, thank you, God, bringing my tribe. So later that evening, I was blessed to be able to go and meet with a pastor that used to, um, I used to attend his church, right? And he's the one that baptized my boys. And um, we, I'm at, I went and um, sat in on one of his classes last night. And uh, it, was a, it was a pleasure to see him again. He's looking awesome. His um, ministry is going well. So when I walked into the building, you would never know from the outside when you walk inside what you're going to see. What I say about front porches. You can't book, judge a book by its cover. When I walked in there and seen how beautiful his establishment, establishment was, I said, look at God. And um, when I looked up and seen the smiling face, the welcoming, smiling face that was familiar, it was family. I was welcome. I was comfort. I was comfortable. I didn't feel, I didn't feel out of place at all. He's family to me, you know? And he said, come here, give me a hug. Now, I'm talking about no half-ass hug. <laughs> and I'm not talking about a hug where we're afraid we lusting on each other. Nothing like that. That's not it. It's, it's, all, it's like this man has always been a mentor to me. And, and I told him on the phone before I went, the, the day before I called him, and I said, you know what? You have always, you know, I, I, I hold you in high standards, like, in my heart, you know, you know, if there was only two churches that I ever cared enough to try to get there to was this pastor's Reverend Robinson and the pastor now that I attend at People's Church. And it's going to be many more to come because I have utmost respect for a man of the cloth, right? He gave, he said, come here, give me a hug. He gave me the tightest warmest loving hug and told me you know i needed my hug and um he always gave me those tight warm hugs and i'm very appreciative of of, of of the loving spirit and so um 
This man's setup is, is immaculate, okay? If anybody's looking for a, a place to go and learn some ministry and do some things, this man has put out so many ministers in the city of Oklahoma, and I'm sure all they've spread it all over the United States and maybe some even over the world because he's had, like I remember when we used to go to the church and he would had all these pictures of him over the years where he's has certificates of people graduating and things of that nature. And I was like, wow, you know, I used to look at those pictures and now he's got all these new pictures up of new spaces, happy and families and groups of people, uh, different things that he's done. This man is established and I, and I, and God led me, you know, a long time ago, I met him through my mother and, um, started going to attending his church and a long, and, and, and a long time ago, we went for years. He said, you know, it's my children and everything. And, um, for me to be back in his presence. And I used to always think to myself, wow, what a good teacher. And I said, please, will you bless me with some of your knowledge? So I got to sit in last night. And so, um, when he got done and he got done early, cause he seen me look at the clock and I didn't mean nothing by it. When I, it's funny when I look at the clock, people want to shut stuff down. Don't shut it down. Cause I looked at the clock, bro. I have nowhere to go. I got nothing but time. You, you can preach, you can do a, a overnight preaching session and I'm going to be here. I'll bring my pillow and my blankie. Okay. So, um, it wasn't more, it wasn't more like, um, he, t he didn't teach. He ended up preaching and, um, <laughs> his wife was there and she said, well, at the end of it, she said, well, that was a good one. A good, a good one. It was a, that man preached. Okay. When I say he preached, I was sitting there like, mm -hmm, amen, 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 amen. He still got it. Cause I told him, I said, Hey, I want to be a firecracker preacher. I want to, I want to spit the hot truth and fire on, on these people and let them know. Okay. So, um, after, um, but let me go back to the rest of my day before I made it there. So let's say that experience was awesome and I didn't feel out of place. So if I go somewhere, cause I, I, I'm be reading energy now. I mean, I'll be reading it. Like if I go somewhere and it don't feel right when I walk in there, I know it's just not right for me, but this place was so welcoming. It was clean in there. It was plenty of seats. He said, find your spot. You know, it's nothing to it, but to do it. Thank you for let, allowing me in these doors. The door was unlocked when I opened it. I said, oh, please don't, you know, because as, as a person that's been done so many different ways. Okay. I'm not trying to do well on the bad things, but you know, you, 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 you have to question sometimes when I'm about to open this door, is this door going to be open for me though? So it was open, walked into a big smile and a big, tight, warm hug of, um, a familiar feeling of it's God's grace. It's God's, it's God's mercy. It's God's love. Okay. So, but before that, after I left the women at the store, um, I went and got a bite to eat and I said, it's such a beautiful day. I had the car windows down I'm playing my music. I'm feeling lovely because I know what the day is about to bring for me is going to be marvelous. Let's go sit in the park and eat our lunch. So I'm sitting in the park and I'm looking at the clouds and the sun is beaming on me. I feel it. Oh, the heat is hard, but the day is beautiful, but the, I can feel the heat of the sun on me. Now, when I feel the heat of the sun, I just get so, it feels so good to me. I'm telling you, I love the heat of the sun. It's not the certain type of heat. It's a certain type of temperature that I like on my body. Like, weird. But anyway, I'm sitting there. I'm eating my lunch. And I'm looking at the clouds because there's many of them. And I look over. First thing I see now. I said, oh, it's time to read the clouds. The clouds are going to talk to me today. Thank you, God. They don't talk to me every day. But they do sometimes. I said, look up. I seen a heart. I said, oh, okay, thank you, God. I see that heart. Mm hmm What else did I see? I seen a couple. I seen a couple. It was two, it was it was it was a couple. And um it was a big cloud, but I, when I zoomed in, I seen two couples with their back turned. And I seen a a man in front of them. So I seen a couple getting married. Mm-hmm. I saw it. 
But that was no, that wasn't the first thing I saw. So let's see what else. Cause I wrote it down and I went to go get the notes to bring it in here, but then I couldn't find it. Oh, what's going on? It's just come up poof and missing around here. So um, I seen an angel in a cloud over here, and it was faint. I said, I see you sitting over there in that cloud, looking at me. Um, it was very faint, it disappeared. And then, um, what else did I see? It disappeared, but then I, as it disappeared, it turned into an arrow pointing up. So the angel disappeared and the arrow pointed up. It was an arrow. And I was like, okay. Um, the answer to it is call on God, right? Here's my answer. So then I looked over here. I don't know which one I saw first, but I saw the couple getting married, okay? Um, then I looked over here. Um, I think the couple getting married was the end, the last part of it. So I, I looked over here, and I seen an image. It looked like a, it looked like, I said, okay, there's an angel in a big cloud. There's an angel standing there. And I said, but it doesn't look like a, it's not a human. It's not human. It's not human. I was like, this one right here looks like it just might be more like a creep, like a, I don't know, like a spirit or a cre a creature, a spirit or something. But it, some, you know, I just can't make out the the form of the face or the form of the head. It was kind of different shape. But I looked on the side of it and it had a it had a lion sitting next to it. Yes, it did. It had a lion sitting next to it. I seen an image of a lion sitting next to it like propped up like boom on the side of it and this this thing had a whatever this spirit was it had a chest and um i'm like wow that's a lion and then all of a sudden he turned his head to me like this because it was looking this way i could tell it was looking that way but it it, it turned his head to me like this as the as the as the clouds moved, I assume, because then I end up being able to see his eyes, his nose, his lips, and his chest was there, and then and the um the line kind of faded away, and he was just standing there looking at me like. And I said, I see you, and I said, you the angel that was over there in that cloud, you moved from that cloud to that cloud, and he was like, you see me better from here, and I was like, my goodness. Then that's when I seen the um the um wedding of the couple. And then right at the end of that I seen a butterfly. Yes, a big butterfly. It was just a cloud that was shaped like a butterfly. And I had just seen some butterflies earlier that day and I was one almost hit me. It was flying so fast. It zoomed around. It was like it was trying to get to me. And then it um and I have a lot of butterflies in my backyard. So I was like, wow, what is Thank you, spirit. <laughs> I'm always thankful when I get to see the images. Boy, it, it trips me out. I sat in that park for a minute. I would I didn't want to leave the park. And um I just basked it in the sun. So what happened was when I was at the store with the ladies at restrained change my clothes, I did I did end up buying something though. I bought me a pair of shades. And so um I really didn't want to buy anything, but I bought me a pair of shades because these shades I just cut I like me a nice pair of shades and um, I feel like God's telling me you're about to do some traveling or something's about to happen. You know, you want to look your best when you're getting out, you know, stepping out. You got to do that, you know. So, um, I took the shades out the bag and put them on. And this is how I seen all this stuff. It's like these shades are were made to, um, it changed the, the way, uh, I was seeing things because it had a yellow cast to it. It made the clouds look more detailed so I could see the images better in the clouds. It's like these glasses were just given to me today so that I could say, hey, put these on so you can read the clouds. Because when I took the glasses off, I could see the images still. But when I put the glasses on, I could see it so much better. So that was my day yesterday. And I ended up getting to go and sit in the presence of the anointed, of course. And look, and I found out about another church. 
So God is good and God is good all the time. So we want to read. Okay, um, I just want to read this. Because Christ is present in us through the Holy Spirit, we can bring the presence of God's kingdom wherever we go and wherever we are, okay? So that's why I get to see all those beautiful things because when I step out because of my new journey, my new life God has given me because I, I prayed so hard and repented and turned away from my sinful ways i still got a long way to go i'm not perfect okay but um when i walk outside now it's like that um like the let's say um alice in wonderland when you walk out and you get to see the birds flying and landing in the trees and the bunnies the bunnies hopping and stuff that's how life looks to me now um where it used to kind of look like uh hectic busy, tired, broke down, exhausted, un, unsatisfied, you know, just beat down, miserable. I go outside, I look for the beauty of it. Everything is beautiful to me. I say, oh, look at the trees. Oh, look at the pretty little, look at the pretty little uh, bunny rabbits. They used to be bunny rabbits that used to sit in my yard. And um, everybody would trip. Why the bunnies come and sit in your yard? They parlay in that thing every every evening, a certain time of the evening. It just be some bunnies laying in my yard. Where these bunnies come from? And so one day I'm sitting out. I'm standing on the porch looking at the bunnies, right? Because they're fast. They're not gonna let nobody get them. They're fat too. They're not gonna let nobody get them. They lay out. They laid out like they were like a um, you know those rugs that um. They put out a, uh, like a, a bear rug. That's how the bunnies were laying on my ground. They come and just lay on the grass and flatten out and just like this was the hangout kicking spot. You know, I don't know why. This is spirit. I know spirit been working on me for a long time when I didn't know spirit was working on me. You you see what I'm saying? So um, the lady walked by one day. I'm sitting on the porch. I'm looking at the bunnies. You know, of course, looking at the bunny. I'm amazed. And she's like, and they, and she said, oh, is that your bunny? And I said, no, that's not my bunny. And she says, wow, really? And she says, wow, you're like Alice. She said, um, you're like the, um, you're like Snow White and the Wizard of Oz. No, she said, you're like Snow White. And I was like, huh? Yeah, she's like, you're like Snow White. And I'm like, what, 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 what do you mean by that? But anyway, like she said, you're all magical and stuff. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. But um, that is the beauty of it. Like how I'm going to see life, I'd rather see it. Um, uh, I'd rather look at life like the kingdom of heaven, okay? Everything is, I take the kingdom with me when I go now, all right? Let's see. We have Luke 17, 20. The kingdom of God is not coming with things, okay, that can be observed, nor will they say, look, here it is, or there it is, for in fact, the kingdom of God is among us, it's among you, okay? Luke 17, 21, neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for the kingdom of God is within you. It goes everywhere you go. Okay. 22. And he said unto the disciples, the days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the son of man and ye shall not see it. Okay. So if you don't know, it's kind of like the Wakanda. I'm going to just say, it, like, you know, the movie Wakanda, where they said this, it may just really be a Wakanda hidden. We saying that um, realms, um, the dimensions are sitting on top of each other. We're all coexisting together. There's things that we cannot see that's going on right now. Jobs being done. The angels get up and get ready and go to work in the morning, or maybe they never sleep. I don't know what, how that oper they operate, but... All this is going on at the same time, okay? All 
I don't know if I read this yesterday about the um, daily habits. So, um, good daily habits. Bring God into your meal conversations. Okay? Tell someone you love them, all right? Um, these are good characters um, to develop, to be stronger in your faith. Um, tell someone God loves them today. Write a loving note to someone. Pray with your children at night. Um, read his word and pray, okay? So those are good habits, daily habits that you can you can start doing to, to, to get closer to God. I was speaking with a young man yesterday. Was my little, he's my little bro, okay? I love this guy. He's got such a kindred spirit. And I, t I told him, I said, please, I sent him this last video I made yesterday. I said, please check it out. And I also gave him to the number to the prophet's line so that he can get in on that. And I said, hey, all you got to do is just call and listen. It's, it's that simple. I said, you're going to feel so much better when you get off the phone. I told him, I said, you're chosen. Now, who am I to say that? Um, no, I'm telling you, if you're like me, you and I, we agree on so many things. You have such a kind soul, young man. You are definitely chosen. And the reason why these things are happening to you and the reason why you feel the way you do is because you just haven't found your tribe. But trust me, if I got anything to do with it, I'm going to make sure um, I do my best to pull you in the right direction or lead you in the right direction or help you to just tap into it a little bit because you deserve that. And you're young, and I want you to have it now, not wait too late. Um, like, it, I waited later in life, but this is when God wanted me to have it. You see, I had to go through some things because I signed up for this way. I signed up for this this way, evidently, when I chose this life, you know. But um, I want him to get it early. I, I want him because he's got such a... He's the, he's the one that wants to keep the peace in the family. And usually well, that person is the chosen one, okay? The one that's the most humble, the one that endures the most pain and the um, suffering and, and is alone all the time. And I said, you know why you're alone? It's because God put you like that for a reason. I said, that's what happens to the chosen. I said, you, brother, you have been chosen for your family. And you're going to have to understand that that's what it is. Okay? So, um... That's all I have today. So you know what I'm about to do is say this. Think bigger. Think bigger. Okay. And what? What is written in the Bible 365 times is do not be afraid. It's a daily reminder. Do not be afraid. And then we also have God has the tendency to pick up a nobody. To become a somebody in the front of everybody without asking. And um, if you're on this this um, channel listening to all this stuff um, and you agree with me, then um, as long as two agree, then we got something going on. Peace, love, and light. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscribe. No, thank you for your subscribe. For the new subscribers, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your loving energy. Thank you, Soul Tribe. I might eat an apple today. Or I might make some juice. Oh, I, I, I don't have a um, blender. I was like, where's my blender? I threw it away. So um, I got to get a new blender. But that carrot, um, someone suggested, or I seen on a video, um, carrots and cucumber juice sounds good to me because i can i think i can swing that now apples uh, i'm not too fond of them i even pick the apples out of apple pie and just eat the crust i just don't care for fruit i don't know i can drink fruit juice juices but mm, i don't i don't just bite into an apple i just it's, it's, i can't uh, i don't like watermelon i don't like cantaloupe you know I'm not gonna sit on here and talk about what I don't like, but um, G God blesses us with fruit, and, and fruit is good and healthy for people. I'm, I, I I look at people like, wow, I just wish I could just pop open, you know, bust open a bite into a pear. I know I like a pear, so I do like something. I like pears, but um, 
I wish I could just bite a, into a fuzzy peach and enjoy it. But it's got fuzz on it. I don't think so. But anyway, that's my that's my hang up. Peace, love, and light. Never let nobody dim your light. Stay up and stay bright for the world to see one. Bye. Have a good day.